Losing a much-loved pet can be devastating, particularly if an animal has been stolen. Well, sadly, hundreds of dogs are taken every year. In Kent, there were 104 reported dog thefts last year, a fall of 23% on the year before. But there are warnings tonight that this type of theft is still a growing problem. And reporter Juliet Fletcher has been speaking to owners who say it's like losing a member of their family. Victoria Calcutt has been looking for her Tibetan terrier since she went missing in September. They were out for a walk in a field near her home when Tilly bolted. Eight loose dogs appeared from nowhere, scared her. She got really frightened, went into flight mode, ran past where we are now, um, up onto the main road, and she ran three and a half miles, um, and she ended up in somebody's garden. But witnesses said Tilly then ran into a field, and she's not been seen since, despite extensive news and social media appeals. Around the same time, a miniature pincher Diddy went missing from her home. Owner Nikki has been plagued with hoax phone calls. I've had telephone calls and um, saying, you know, we've got your dog and if you just give us money, um, you get your dog back. And then more recently I've had texts, so they, therefore we were able to get a number, which I handed to the police. They couldn't trace the number, it was a pay-as-you-go phone. Nikki is being supported by Debbie Matthews from East Sussex, who's the daughter of the late Sir Bruce Forsyth. She co-founded the Stolen and Missing Pets Alliance after her own two Yorkshire Terriers, Widget and Gizmo, were stolen from her car. Bruce himself was an animal lover and helped Debbie secure the safe return of her pets. It's devastation. It's complete loss. I mean, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Um, constantly worrying about them. And I only had nine and ten days to go through. Some people have months, years. So I was very lucky. Without my father, I wouldn't have got them back. All dogs now have to be microchipped and recorded on a database. But theft is still on the increase. Many pets are sold on or used for breeding. For owners, it can be like losing a member of the family. If you think your dog's been stolen, you should contact the police. You contact the microchip database. You get on social media as fast as you can. Get on to Dog Lost, Stolen and Missing Pets Alliance, which is our page. Um, and just keep your dog on social media, keep pushing it up. We just want her home and to know that she's safe and she's secure and she's back where she should be. Juliet Fletcher, ITV News.